The Honor Magic Pad 3 is here, and it comes with an all new 165Hz LCD display, a pen, and a case in the box, and battery life that lasts for days. And while the value here is pretty unbeatable, especially when comparing it to the 13-inch iPad Pro, I want to take a look at why the display might be a more comfortable fit for daily usage. Last year, the Honor Magic Pad 2 used a 120Hz OLED display with DC-like dimming and very low modulation above 25% brightness. That switched to 4320Hz PWM dimming below that. It also had zero dithering thanks to a native 10-bit panel, and it turns out that this is the biggest problem with the Magic Pad 3. Honor is using an 8-bit LCD on this new tablet and, unfortunately, does not give users a way to force 8-bit color in the OS. That means it's always dithering to produce 10-bit colors on an 8-bit panel, no matter what settings you try to change. If that's a deal breaker, I'd say pick up last year's tablet or just look elsewhere. It's really a shame too, because the amount of legitimately excellent eye care features on this tablet are nothing short of incredible. Let's start with dimming. This one uses true DC dimming at all brightness levels. If it didn't dither all the time, I would say this is a truly flicker-free panel, but yeah, that's not exactly true because of that. I actually felt a little bit of discomfort and dizziness the first time I used the tablet, which was a bit of a surprise since dithering does not normally bother me. Subsequent uses were fine though, so it seems like I adjusted. Honor added a new dry eyes eye care feature that uses the front facing camera to let you know when you need to blink if you're not doing it often enough. This sounds a little silly on the surface, but people have a tendency to blink less while using digital displays, and this could be a great way to help fix that. The Defocus Myopia Prevention feature is also here, and the display has plenty of blue light blocking options and natural color appearance options. Of course, since this thing dithers so much, some of that isn't going to be as helpful as it would be on a panel displaying its native colors all the time. Lastly is the Motion Sickness Prevention feature Honor launched last year, which is present here and is particularly helpful on a tablet this large. In summary, the display could have been amazing if it weren't for the dithering, as I've already said several times. That's especially the case since the battery life is so crazy good, performance from the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 is excellent, the included keyboard case looks and feels more like a laptop, including a nice touchpad on the bottom, and Honor's stylus even feels great to hold. I really wish this one were a winner, but unfortunately it's probably not going to work for a lot of people in the Flickr sensitive community. If you're just looking for a great upper mid-range tablet though, this is a pretty darn good choice. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing and give this video a like. Want to know something specific about the Magic Pad 3 I didn't cover? Drop a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it as soon as possible. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.